Okay, good afternoon everyone, thanks for joining. We'll use the usual format today with the broadcast section first, followed by dailies and then Sundays. If you'd like a question today, please use the raise hand function and then we'll get round to as many of you as we can. Then unmute yourself and away you go. We're going to start with Jamie Weir, Sky Sports News. Thanks very much Adrian, good afternoon Frank. Hi. Is Sunday a chance to park the league forum for a bit, put it to the back of your minds and maybe rest some weary bodies as well? Um, I don't know about park the league forum. We've lost our last game. We won the one before that. We want to win every game that we play. And Luton's going to be a tough competitor because they're going pretty well in the championship. They're a good team. Uh, it's the FA Cup. We know all that comes with it. So pick a team to try and win the game and get us through to the next round. Is the bigger concern for you at the moment the, the results or the performances? Well, I think they go hand in hand sometimes, don't they? And um, results are what you get measured on on the outside. And, and recently, we've not got as many points as we want. You said before that you need to just block out the noise when you hear speculation regarding your future. When there's other managers' names, successors' names being bandied around, that must be difficult. How do you block out that noise? I don't listen to it. But when it's everywhere, it's hard to no, I don't, well, I don't. It's only everywhere if you want to go scroll through maybe social media or something. I don't do that. I come and I'm not stupid. Do you know what I mean? I know what the pressures that come with managing a top football yeah. club, but I only do my job, so it doesn't doesn't matter to me. Is it any more difficult because of the fact you were a player at Chelsea for such a long period of time and you experienced firsthand how ruthlessly managers... No, no, ab absolutely not because... My career here as a player was fantastic and it's set in stone. And when I say fantastic, I'm not giving the big I am. I'm talking about the success that I was proud to be part of at the club. And the link I have here with the fans and uh, the support I get from them is amazing. And I knew when I came into this job as a manager that that can change the tone of it. You know, you, you, there are things that you can't control going forward. You do, you do your best and I'll continue to do that all the time while I'm managing the club because I feel the club. It doesn't change how I feel. I, wherever I'd work, it's the kind of person I am. Wherever I work, wherever the club it is, I'll give my all. Thanks, Frank. Best Thank you. Sunday. Cheers, cheers. John Southall, Five Live. Frank, um, as, as you mentioned, you've seen the pressure as, as a player from the other side of the fence on, on, fence, um, on managers at Chelsea. How are you finding it at the moment? Is it How tough a period is it for you? The, the pressure's fine. Listen, you, you, you're obviously more happy when you're winning games. You know, I was more happy in November and October than, I, than I've been in sort of mid to December onwards. But it comes with the territory. I think you can look around the Premier League and you can see teams this season that have had problems, teams now that are having problems that we're not used to having problems. So for me, I just have to get on with the job. I mean, you know the hierarchy of this club better than probably most people. Have you had a chat with them? Have you spoken to them? I'm, all, I'm not, I'm not going to talk about private conversations. So I do, I, I played here for a long time, but the, 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 the situation changes from being a player here 13 years to managing the club. So I have much more conversations with the hierarchy than I ever had as a player. Do you think the players, the new players you've brought in have been a bit surprised by the intensity of the Premier League? We saw last night with Burnley that any team can beat anybody else. Has that surprised them, do you think? Um, well, I think some of the new lads have been quoted as saying that. We've got the most physical and fastest league in the world. Um, I, you know, we, we feel that here and I think, I think it's pretty clear to see. So, you know, when I talk about players needing adaptation and we've seen great players need time in this league to... To, get, to kick in, especially when they're young, because they come to this league fresh, then it's it's very normal if they do feel like that. And how much time do you think it will? I mean, it's, it's a difficult question, probably. It will take to get the best out of this group, and the, and you, you 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 keep saying it's a work in progress, but I mean, how long do you think well, it is it, until you? Well, what 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 um, mark are you putting on that? Well, this season, will you need another season, next season until we see the best? Well, I'm not going to sit and talk about next season. It will be, it will be a nonsense. Any manager in a, in a job in the Premier League wouldn't talk about the next season because you can only worry about what's in front of you. But, I mean, would it take that long to get the full potential out of the, the new players to, to settle uh, into the Premier League? And see well, again, I, I'll ask you the same thing. What's the marker on that? What, what are you talking about? To get, to get someone playing you know, like Eden Hazard did in the prime of his career here? What, what are you asking for? Yeah, or well, this season, this season, when are we going to see the best of the of the new players? Well, well, that's, the question. that's what we're working to, yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's right. Nick Thank Kewell, PA. Uh, hi, Frank. Um, hi. Is there any update on the situation with Fikeda Tamori? Um, how close is his loan uh, deal to being uh, completed? Is, yeah. has he gone no, no, no confirmation as it stands. Yeah, it's not completed. So, no, he remains in the same situation. 
But um, in terms of uh, what you've got with um, the guys, you know, the, the, the guys got available. So some of the fans um, are perhaps a bit frustrated that Fakir is not not playing more at this point. I mean, um, could you just sort of? I know you've, you've talked about it before, but can you just give give a word to them about why it's you know? It's not been the right time to have him in, in your team. Yeah, because I have five centre backs and I can't uh, do this job and expect to appease or please. You know, every fan will have their own opinions. That's football, of what players you should pick or not. And uh, when you're searching for consistency or when we're in a long unbeaten run, nobody questions it. Maybe they do when you, you're not playing so well. But I have to pick two out of the five, and those numbers don't always add up. Fikayo's a developing player, a very, very good player. I've seen him rise from. Arriving at Derby is a quite quiet lad and a good talent to being one of the best defenders in the Championship and then an England international and a Chelsea regular. So I think his journey has been great. And whatever the next step, whether he goes on loan um, or not, he's going to be a top player, but he's a developing player too. Liam Trimmy. Hi, Frank. I wanted to ask a question about Petter. Um, at, at a time like this, when confidence seems to be low in the squad and lots of players individually seem to be struggling, how valuable is it to have someone else around the first team who, like you, has a very similar, had a similar winning mentality as a player and similar experience of good and bad times at the very top level? Um, well, to be fair, Liam, I think if their confidence would be shot if they were to read some of the pieces that you write a minute, because um, I read some of them and some of the, the confirmation bias that you, you always reflect on games with, and um, it's like a sort of almost like a social media pundit to, to try and get a reaction in a negative way. I read the pieces when we were doing well as well, and they, they didn't go both ways. So I think for a journalist to be objective um, would be a big start because if players do read it, I'd feel like that. In terms of Pete, I think his, um, his experience is vital, vital for the club that we use our experiences because even in years that we were successful and, and we look back and we're holding trophies, there were tough moments in them. Tough moments to whatever degree and there's some really solid squads in those years as well. So we've been there before, we know what it takes to, to turn the corner, so we work together on that. James, talk to Paul. Frank, there has been some criticism, I guess, about the rotation of the squad, but when you look at how many players are necessarily making their spot their own, it only seems to be Edouard Mendy and, and Mason Mount, those two players that really merit their squad in each game. Um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's something that gets asked a lot and you have a squad and you want consistency in selection, but players have to make places their own, as you, as you alluded to. I don't just think it's those two. I think there are other players at different times that have made it their own. And yeah, we're all working towards that, of course. We, there'll be times when you utilise the squad, there'll be times when you want to have continuity. But at the end of the day, we know that sort of some individual form has not been at its best lately. So I have to make changes. If I didn't make changes, I think sometimes people would criticise that fact. So I just have to make the decision I see. Some of the words you used after the Leicester game were slow, sluggish, and you said some of the players lack desire. Is there only so much you can do as a manager when you prepare your side for a game for them to put in a performance as they did? Do you sometimes feel a bit helpless at times? I don't think... Uh, I'm not sure I said lack desire. If I did, then, then OK. But um, it was definitely slow and sluggish. I'll definitely hold it to that. And, and one of the, the, the things I think that set us out as a team last year was our energy. Um, and that parts this year, and we, you know, when we're on a good run, energy to beat Leeds, to beat Seville, takes a lot of energy, and it's a, it's a part of a team that I feel proud when I put that out that shows that. And we did it last year, and we managed to get um, to fourth position. So uh, when I see it come off, I have to call it out, and we have to work it in training to get it better because you cannot play if you don't run first. And I, I don't want to explain exactly what the reasons are for each individual because some players are not at it on one day or whatever. So there can be a multitude of reasons for it. But as a group. We need to, to get back to the, the energy that we were that we were finding and, and winning games. And finally for me, in terms of the pressure you're feeling now, how does that compare to, to being a player? Because ultimately it, it does come down to the, the manager at times like these. Um, yeah, I mean, as, as a, I, I worry, and say worry, my concern is not the pressure on me because I can deal with it because I've been um, in football a long, long time as a player at top club. So I understand how, how it goes and it's different as a, 
as a player but we, the pressure is to, needs to be positive on the players because the players are what make you a good manager or not so good manager and that can flip very quickly as we, as we always see so it's important that the players don't feel that I don't mind taking the pressure the players have to feel a good pressure they, they, they want to win games they want to get some form back you want to get you know how quickly that form and, and results can turn in this league we're seeing it now more than ever so um, we just have to, to direct that pressure in the right way on the pitch Last question in this section is on Hi Frank, um, a lot of local fans seem to support you in the UK and they're planning a banner to show that support. Uh, how helpful is that sort of to get the buy-in for the patients you need to get the group up to scratch and, and do you feel that same sort of buy-in from maybe the dressing room that you probably need to help you through this difficult patch? Well, like I said before, players will always make you um, a good or bad or in-between manager so I think you, you obviously have to have buy-in from the dressing room because my opinion is that football is whatever percent tactics, but it's a much bigger percentage of um, environment and drive and positivity and desire and all those things that, that create the basics in football. So um, that's important. In terms of the banner, yeah, I really appreciate whether it helps or not, but I absolutely appreciate the fans that um, put together to, to create the banner. I think everyone who knows me or watch me as a player or watch me as a manager knows how I feel about this club. So I, I, I appreciate it very much. Just kind of just get, uh, we're going to have to move on there, Desart. So, next section is dailies.